Nice. Yeah, look, guys, I haven't smoked pot in years, and, and I would if it was legal, but it, it's not, so I ain't doing it. <laughs> All right, let's bring this next one down to 73. And then hopefully that'll keep everything nice and balanced. And, um... And it'll, uh... Hopefully allow us to get, um, plugged into the space station. You see this docking port right down... Hold on, hold on. This docking port right here is where I'm going to put the ship. This docking port right here is where I'm going to put the tug. Oops, stop. There we go. All right, let's F5 for safety now. Glad I did that before I separated. Let's do this a little bit differently. I'm going to do this manually. Decouple. I heard no sound, which was weird. I've forgotten how to change ships. That's how. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so that's up and down. All right, rotate. Come on, we can do this. So that's down. That means this is straight up and down right here. All right, so let's get that dorsal side up. Ha, ah, yes, there we go. All right, so we're going to dock this baby. Anyone built a surface station on Duna? I had at one time. Uh, I've had so many saves throughout the versions that um, I, I, I put a colony, an all-in-one, a, a one-shot a one colony drop, actually, on Duna. This thing is so damn responsive. God, this RCS menu, it just... Wow. One little puff is all it takes. Oh, oh, shit, back up. We got this, guys. We got this. Um, I actually have something that I want to take to Duna. I have a uh, a Sky Crane, um, a Sky Crane rover launcher. Um, kind of like the latest, uh, the latest Mars rover was delivered with a Sky Crane. Here we go. Boom. Perfect. All right, now let's get the ship docked in. This is another one. This is a different one. There we go. I have two of them up there. One of them has failed. It's unbalanced like a bitch. Let's close this. Close this. Close this. And this. And that will allow us... Now we need to open the docking port here. Toggle. All right, now it looks like we're just going to need F5 for safety. Safety save. Need to build a sky crane. Dude, it's crazy the way the game works, man. The, uh, try to line that up. So I had the sky crane as a, uh, down a little bit. I had the Sky Crane, um, a nice little... In fact, I'll show it off, guys. I'll show you the test. Because that is the next thing I want to take to Duna. As soon as we're done here, I'll give you guys a, sh a little sneak preview of that. Now, this was pretty hard to dock last time. We're going to give it the best, we best go we can give it. All right, let's set this as target, just to so, just because. And here we come. Looks like we're still pretty lined up, and we might need to rotate just slightly. Coming in, let's raise it up a little bit. Raise up a bunch. 
Slow it down, slow it down, Paul. Slow it down. Bring it up. Still looking good. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Basically land a segment and drive it in, dock it, decouple it and wheel it. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I'll totally check the chat in just a moment, guys. Pinpoint accuracy is needed for this. I want this to be a one and done. Oh, I think we got it. Look, I think the magnets are coming in. Turn off SAS, turn off RCS. We got it yet? One and done! Nice! Nice! Yes! <laughs> there is no object to this game, man. You, you, it's a sandbox. You have, they give you parts, they give you physics, and then you run with it. So there it is, man. A successful docking of, uh, of the Star-Lord to the Mangles Fuel Depot. There's the other Star Lord down there. He drifted. He was right over here, and he's drifted all the way over. Um, but yeah, I mean, you make your own missions, dude. You make your own missions. Like, um, I'm gonna go to our the Mars planet. I did not realize, guys, but the way I put the the way I put the uh, solar panels on the on, on this. Well, a mass science points unlock better tech. Explore, build what you want. That's what it's about. Yeah, pretty much, man. There's a we, we got it here. Let's show you. We got a solar system. Here's Kerbin. Kerbin has a moon. Kerbin has another moon. And then we go out to the deep, to the solar system. We go a little further out. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planets. And nearly all of them have moons. This one has five moons. Jewel has five moons. That Jewel is the goal, man. It's, it's hard to get to. The hardest planet to get to, though, is Elu, all the way out here. I've been there legitimately once. Did not make it back. I used an unmanned probe to get there. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, dude. But it's it's very intensive, uh, very um, science, man. It's it's fucking a science game, dude. What is that shit? What the fuck is that? That's the orbit of the planet. Oh wow. Okay, go away. So that was great, guys. We did it. Let's go ahead and go back to the space center, and I'll show off my sky crane. I love space shit too, dude. Oh my god, Chop. I love space. Didn't make it back. Well, it was an unmanned probe, so it didn't need to make it back, but... Stuff. Nah, dude, I don't care if you swear, man. Moobot does. I need to actually go ahead and try to disable that. So let's show off the Sky Crane. I'm going to put the infinite, che infinite Fuel Cheats on just because... I'm not really doing a mission, I'm just showing you guys a test of how it's going to work. It's hard to do, but if I can do it on Kerbin, I can do it on Duna. So let's load this up. I don't remember what I had to take it from Sky Crane Test. Yeah, Alex Claw, he was in here earlier. He, uh, I love space and this is a game for, uh, this game is outstanding if you're interested in space. You damn right, Travis. You damn right. Sky crane test. Here it is. It's 173 parts just for the test. All right, man, we're loading it up. You're gonna laugh when you see it, dude. It doesn't look like any sky crane you've ever seen. Where is it? Where's the sky crane test? There it is. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Shift. Bring it all the way down. We need to clamp it down to something. So there's the rover right there, manned rover. Uh, now, uh, unlike NASA, we're doing a manned rover, not an unmanned rover. He's, our man is flying along in this little pot, or little Kerbal. Let's grab some launch clamps. Launch stabilizer. I like the launch clamp is what I call them. All right. And let me look at, do I have any action groups? I don't remember if I have action groups. Hmm. <laughs> toggle panels. Two is extend cable and break that. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. 
Three is retract cable. Just in case I need to, I shouldn't. And that's it. So one is the panels. Two is, is to lower the crane. All right, cool. Let's give this bitch a test. Not a PC gamer and not really a gamer. I just play the shit out of games I get into. That makes you a gamer, bro. Because, I mean, I don't get into every game. There's a lot of games I can't stand. Um, I'm not one to really play the new hotness every time. Now, I did play this, this, this war of mine, because that shit was cool. But I'm not usually the one to play the new hotness when it comes to games. Like, I didn't... I... Oh, dude, the, the thing about the sky crane is... At first, this was my sky crane. Just this piece right here. And it worked fine. I got it lowered down to the earth. Uh, but when I broke... I'm using Kerbal Attachment right here. Uh, let's see the little winch. When I broke free and tried to lower it, the center of gravity changed, and the crane itself started doing this, and it crashed. Um, but by extending the center of gravity upwards, I have a big-ass chute up there. I made it so it's still stable enough. So let's go ahead and power up. Let's put these... No, no. Let's put these all the way at the top because we don't want to release them. And... What is this right here? Is this uh, what I'm trying to decouple from? Right? Fuck, where is it? Yes, okay. And real quick, I want to put the infinite fuel on because we're not doing a mission. We're just testing. And when I put, whenever I use the cheats, guys, I go ahead and say that this is a simulator test. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to about, I don't know, four or 5,000 meters. Wait, no, not that way, not that way, not that way. We want to go this way. Yes, yes, towards the Earth, towards... You just want to get away from the Space Center. Dude, I have so many damn mods, I'm surprised my game even runs anymore. No, nope, this way, this way, this way, there we go. That's what you do. Get moving. Get moving. Now we're going to put it straight up. And I'm using the little orange orange rockets. They're my favorites. We're going to go to about 5,000 meters, five 6,000 meters. We're going to cut engines and let it drop, and then we're going to open the chute. Because on Duna, there is a thin, thin enough atmosphere to use a parachute, just like on Mars. And we're going to go ahead and try to... Uh, emulate that. We're going to try to emulate that. But yeah, but I got, I got Kerbal Attachment, I got Damned Robot, I got Infernal Robotics, I've got um, B9 Aerospace, um, all sorts of shit, man. I'm surprised this shit even runs. What is this? What, what, what is that? Oh, the staging isn't right. Oh. All right, well, let's go ahead and do it. Let's make the staging correct and do that. There we go. Now staging's right. Okay, okay. What is what? Bullage! Welcome back to the studio, my friend! Oh, thanks for coming by, bro. All right. Cut engines. Once we start falling, we're going to open the chutes and give it a test. Yeah, I've got a 420 hours with Kerbal, and I had 90 spacecraft active before your persistent data file got corrupted. No! All I, dude, I, I've done so many launches. The only reason I do things by hand now when I stream is because streamers don't want to watch. I mean, viewers don't want to watch me use MechJeb. But, dude, I've done everything so much that when I'm playing off stream, I fucking use MechJeb. Shoot engaged. Now, this shoot is going to work way better. Than, uh, than on Duna. We are flying a, um, we're doing a test on a sky crane. We're gonna land, eventually we're gonna bring this thing to Duna. If you can see here, there's a little rover down here. Do we have any lights? Yes, as you can see, we have a little rover. Um, we're coming right down, right there. We're gonna, we're gonna try to drop the rover without, um, without producer bot. Is Corridor here? Corridor, welcome back to the studio, my friend. <gasps> Oh, thanks for coming by. <coughs> there he is, Corridor. What up, bro? 
Um, and, we're, and what we're going to do is we're going to hover. Now, the chute is going to open up, and it's going to slow us down to, like, 12 meters per second. And what we're going to do, oh, we're coming right down, right down on the center. And here it goes, getting ready to en engage. Oh. Here it comes. Hopefully it doesn't rip itself apart. All right, cool. Now, this this, this shoot is going to work way better than it does in uh, on Duna because, of course, Duna has a, m a much thinner atmosphere. So we're going to come down. I hope not on top of the, uh, the center, but when we get to about 200 meters, we're going to cut the parachute because we want to do this not a powered, a powered assist, but we want to actually be hovering, almost motionless. Uh, yep, I use it just because when you're building something in orbit and docking a lot, I need to be as efficient as possible. Dude, Mech Jeb is not efficient. Mech Jeb is a fuel whore. Mech Jeb will go through fuel. Don't think that he's efficient. He's just convenient. You can get a much more efficient burn and much more efficiency doing it by hand. T. David, not T. Davy, ninety-seven. Welcome to the recording studio. Sorry about your name, bro. Ah! I hope you're having a badass day, man. We're doing a test of the Sky Crane rover drop system that we're going to be bringing to Duna. I might even start that mission now because let me see, my kids are. Gotta wake my kids up soon. Can't sneak in on me. Move out. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Somebody slap. Somebody slap. Uh. Somebody have producer bot slap uh, move out, please. Time efficient. Yes. Okay. Yes. It it is time efficient. I built a robot that could roller skate up the runway, come down here, and then climb the VAB. I wish I still had it. I no longer have it. But it it was badass, dude. I, using Infernal Robotics, I made a rollerblading robot. Thank you, th thank you, Icon. Thank you, dude. Fuck, fuck Mubot. Mubot, fuck you. Mm, KBK. Looks like we're not going to land. I think we might, we're going to land right next to the, uh, right next to the, um, the thing. You'd love to see what, T-Davy? This land on Duna? What are you talking about, man? Alright, so let's start. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh, we bounced. Okay, well, here is the idea anyway. We got infinite fuel. We can do this. The roller skate thing. Oh, yeah, dude, I have a, I have a video about it on my YouTube, man. Hold on, I'll throw the link up in a minute. Come on, now the hard part is hovering. All right. Don't, don't land, don't hit again. Okay, just a little bit less, just a little bit less. Now, two. And that drops the, the sky crane, and it blows up for some reason. And now the sky crane blows up or flies away. Now, see, now it's going to fly away. Sky crane is going to fly away on its own, and we have a successful landing of the rover. Boom! Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <gasps> yes! Okay, now I'm just going to show you how it's going to work. Uh, oh, no. Can he get out? Yes, he can get out. But then he drops out. Ooh. Stand him up. Put him in here. Board it. And then my favorite part, we get rid of the capsule on top. Pew! Bye-bye! And now what we do is, uh, oh, the wheels broke. Okay, okay. Leave seat. Let's go ahead and fix the wheels. Repair wheel. Bonk. And it broke again. What's going on with my game? What is going on? Very successful, except for the broken wheels. Oh, I couldn't repair it while I was standing on it. Oh, 
T. Davy has joined the band. Welcome to the Mangulators, my friend. Grab an instrument, tune it well, and get ready to rock because you fucking rock, friend. Appreciate the follow, bro. All followers are eligible for the giveaway. The next one is the give all giveaways. Next one is coming up at 250 follows. I and mean, we're at 217 now, so it's not long. Not long at all. It is a Steam giveaway, so if you do not have a Steam account, go ahead and grab one now in in, in preparation. I think we have one more to do. Okay, nope, we're ready. All right, so say we didn't cr we didn't smash the wheels up. We get on board. Now what we gotta know? I put a system in here just in case it falls over. In case it falls over, we've got this uh, control wheel. Dude, this is a, this is a lot of fun, man. This is a lot of fun to play. It is hard as hell, dude. This shit is this is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Um, I have this control wheel in case it lands on its back. Um, huh, I seem to have lost one of my uh, RCS things. Oh, that's cool. We didn't land on our back. So the control wheel, we got to turn this off. Toggle torque. Remove the brake. And now we drive around like bosses. Got to skid for a bit. I'll check back up soon. All right, no problem, Travis, man. Thanks for coming by, bro. And there it is, the uh, the rover. Now the cool thing about this rover is a lot of times rovers like to flip, right? So let's get up to a good clip. Let's go to see if we can get up to 20 meters per second. Then we're just going to slam on brakes. The small gear bay is one of the best wheels to have up front because it absorbs shock. It has a high tolerance impact. All right, slam on brakes now. And it won't flip. It will not flip no matter what I do. It'll flip backwards, not forwards. There it is, man. There's the uh, the sky crane. And uh, thank you, Tre thank you, Tre T Tavi, T Davy. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, this the rover was actually really sh quick quick to make. But yeah, we lost one in the crash, but we had an RCS port back here in case it flipped on its back. We could flip it back up, and that's what this control wheel is for. But what is this? Ah, <gasps> uh, yes. To send the science back home. Gotta send that science back home. Let's do a little... Now, this is, uh, this is in um, sandbox mode right now, so science is useless. But there it is, man. There it is. I've done the science tree so...